matchup between Thug Rose Namajunas and Carla Esparza. All right, here's the number one strawweight contender. She is set for this title fight here tonight. Certainly deserves this opportunity, but confidence has never been an issue. She believes for a while she has been the best 115 around the roster, and tonight she can leave as the champion, and she is looking to do just that here in a matter of moments. Excited to see how this one plays out. So much depth now at 115 pounds, but they're all still chasing her. Yeah, they are, the undisputed UFC strawweight champion. And she's got the confidence that belies the champion. As you see her make this walk here tonight, she won the belt with flying colors, defended it with style points, and that's the same goal here tonight. She really is a fighter that maintains a calm demeanor, takes it fight by fight. She has aspirations to be the greatest of all time. She is well on her way. And now our tale of the tape for this strawweight championship fight. Nama Yunus is 28. Esparza is 32. Nama Yunus will have a two-inch reach advantage. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC strawweight championship of the world introducing first fighting out of the blue corner this woman is a wrestler holding a professional record on 18 wins six losses she stands five feet one inch tall weighing in at 115 pounds fighting out of irvine california presenting the challenger And now it is the champion fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 11 wins, four losses. She stands five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds, fighting out of Denver, Colorado, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC strawweight champion of the world, Fog Rose. All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. And with that touch of the gloves, we are... It's a venue that needs no introduction. The world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden. Even for a Boston guy, I have levels of appreciation for the building. I mean, when you walk into MSG, you get chills because you understand the history that comes with competing in this arena. Just misses with a left hook there. Esparza gets the early takedown. Her opponent is squirming, and this might be the beginning of the end. The ground and pound strikes continue to land at will. She's landing him over and over again. 
she needs to make sure that when she's chasing the finish, she doesn't get excited and lose the position. She's trying to pass the guard here. Ooh, unable to do so. Nice denial by the bottom fight. Great recognition in the grappling transitions. Way to maintain that guard. Nama Yunus' submission game is underrated. She goes for the triangle here. Oh! And this might just be a matter of time. The sheer will is, is really remarkable to watch. She's got side control now. Maybe some of those knee strikes to the body. A lot of different things available to her here. Now, in the side control, you may feel like the bottom person that you have a lot of outs, but there is a lot of danger in those positions, too. A lot of danger in the knees coming your way. A lot of danger in the chokes. So you have outs, but you're also constantly under duress from a great top fighter. Esparza is looking to pass out of the half guard and attain side control here, but unable to do so. She's got the right hand going tonight, DC. She's in a great flow, and she's throwing from her dominant side to land that great strike. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. And the referee brings the fight back to its feet. No surprise there. Needed to see more action. 30 total strikes have now found the target for Carla Esparza. Takedown defense holds up. You're behind. Take down. Great punch landed with so much power. All right, so once again, the fighters engage in the clinch. We'll see who will. That is how you scramble, folks. She's already landed several big takedowns, and there's another one. So you gotta like what you're seeing here. This offensive wrestling is on point. Tonight. It's unbelievable. The variety of takedowns is what I am truly a fan of. It's not just one thing. She is doing different approaches, different takedowns to really, really confuse her opponent. Nama Yunus's cheek looks like it's cut. Yes, it is starting to bleed a little bit now. Well, maybe some panic setting in for her opponent as she continues to land with the ground and pound. She cannot deal with the pressure of the top fighter. She's so good at finding her strikes. Forty-five seconds to go here in round one. Oh, her ground and pound is on point here. She's made this a focus going in to make these strikes count. Certainly doing that tonight. She's making each and every one of them count, doing a very, very good job of landing shots, landing them in combination, and making them all matter. Get up, get up, get up. 20 seconds to go. 15 seconds remain in the round. First round winding down here. Oh, hammer fist here by Esparza. Oh. All right, let's get you some replays from that previous round, DC. I thought she mixed it up beautifully on the feet. Yes, she did a great job. I mean, she landed everything. She showed a complete example of what her mixed martial arts game has become as she's been in the UFC now for a little bit of time. Listen, you probably lost that round, 
I need you to be first. Let's get that head movement and start popping that jab. All right, five minutes down. Here we go with the start of round two. Rose Namajunas and Carla Esparza. Oh, big punch land. Oh, she's been working on her defense. Kick block there. Well, the right hand has been there for her tonight at times. Not that time. Stuffs the takedown shot there. How good is her takedown D? Massive head kick. Body shot now, but it's turned back by Esparza. Now she's got the Muay Thai plump. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. She's starting to put together some significant body work here, and these are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. 68 total strikes have landed for Carla Esparza. Well, and more often than not, when it's been thrown, it has landed, DC, landing at a 70% clip tonight against Rose Namajunas. Oh, nice job by her to land a knee to the body. Her size advantage certainly helped on that exchange. Nice strike. Punches. Attempts the front kick there. Well, she's got a good jab, missed with it there. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. Namajunas going for the body, missed with that kick. You hit her first now. Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find herself in the pocket a little bit. She was a little bit hesitant in round one. No hit. Fantastic takedown. All right, so Rose Namajunas now with an... It's in there deep. There you go. Oh! oh. Brilliant submission defense there. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Back to the feet now. Ooh, big shot lands. That's a beautiful jab by her there. We'll see if she can follow it up now. If you fight behind such a beautiful jab, eventually you drop the right hand, good night. Ooh. Oh, straight right. All right, so we're on the feet at least for now, but you gotta think, at least from her standpoint, another takedown attempt is in it. She's definitely gonna be shooting another takedown attempt. It's where she wants to fight, and I really do applaud her for knowing where her strengths are and making sure she is fighting right there. Now she's got the Muay Thai plum. Stuff to take down, no problem. Taken down by Namajunas. And with conviction, she moves right into half guard. Without much effort, she was able to pass from her full guard right into half guard. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Carla Esparza. Nice right hand. Now the hammer fist here by Rose Namajunas. Man, she is just nonstop on the ground, moving in all the right directions. Another nice transition by her there. She's moving a lot, but every movement has purpose. Lands with the ground and pound here. Well, you gotta stay busy from the bottom position. Can't falter here, she's doing a nice job. Oh, sage work from the bottom here as she tags her with the punch. Namajunas has got the full mount. 
Oh, nice strike on the ground for him. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, so that's the end of the round. Lot to like in there, DC, particularly when it comes to her offensive wrestling game. She's evolving, right? She's gotten better. She did not have this skill set before. Now you watch her and she looks like an Olympian. She looks like a girl that can wrestle at the highest level. She scored so many takedowns in that round. Her wrestling coach must be very proud. Out to that All right, perfect round. I need you to go out there and do more of that. All right, so she was able to take her opponent down really at will in the previous round. We'll see if her opponent has made the proper adjustments here. It's going to be very difficult because the way that she attacks is so diverse. She's never just doing one thing and giving a pattern. Right. It's always like, it's like algebra, right? Her opponent's doing basic mathematics, but she's doing algebra. She's giving her so much information that she gets lost. And when her opponent gets lost, She's able to secure top position and really, really start to get damage off. I get anxiety just hearing the word algebra. Oh, you do well in that? No, John, no, I did uh, horrible. I thought that I could use my graphic calculator to give me uh, answers. Oh, nice job by her there. You see how strong she is. Her opponent's trying to control posture, unable to do so. Now she can get to work and put the money in the bank with that grounded pound. Money in the bank. Good ground and pound by her here. She felt like she could finish the fight with her ground strikes tonight and might be well on her way here. I mean, John, I believe it after watching the ground and pound that she's landing in this part of the fight. Oh, these are some serious power punches from the top by Esparza. single ground strike there. Well, this is a tough fighter to buck off. Very good pressure and work here by Carla Esparza. All right, so not enough action there on the ground. The referee brings the fight back to the feet, and we are back underway. Well, how about these numbers? 132 total strikes that have found the target now for Carla Esparza and landing with 66% accuracy against Rose Namajunas. Oh, she lands another knee there. I'm not sure how many more her opponent can take, and height isn't always an advantage in this matchup tonight. It certainly appears to be. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. Huge knee lands from the close. Well, she's had a lot of moments in the fight. You know, her one is very good, but you're not even getting a one-two. What about the one-two? What about the one-two-three? How about an uppercut following the three strikes? A nice entry into the finish directly. Well, Nami Yunus is looking to pass out of the half guard and attain side control here, but unable to do so. Working on a guillotine. Watch guillotine. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Oh, look at this. Jumps over in the side mount to try to counter the guillotine. Maybe going with that Von Flute choke, or I guess we should probably call it the OSP at this point. Submission. Clearly, she had an opening and she closed the show pretty effectively there. That is one of the bigger wins of her UFC career. Right, 
let's check out some of the action in that previous round. DC, she certainly kept the stat trackers busy with all those takedowns. All those takedowns and some really nice takedowns. She did a great job of level changing, getting into her opponent, not allowing her opponent to defend before she can secure her takedown. So a dominant performance tonight for the UFC Women's Strawweight Champion of the World. Your winner by way of submission, and it is gonna take a spectacular effort from another contender at 115 pounds to dethrone this talented champion. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called to stop for this contest at three minutes, 37 seconds of the third round. For the winner by submission, and still, So congratulations to the still UFC strawweight champion of the world, and I am glad my daughters don't fight <laughs> at 115 pounds. I mean, she is a savage. She understands what life is like as a UFC champion. Well, she does not want to experience the other side of living anymore. A great champion, a great fighter, who's gonna be very difficult to take the belt from.